If you're looking to build a website for your business, you're going to need web hosting. And it can be quite confusing deciding on what type of hosting to use, especially if you're a beginner. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over what shared hosting is and whether it's a good fit for your business's website. Let's go. So what is shared hosting? In simple terms, shared hosting is like renting your own small piece of web space. Websites run on a computer called a server and with shared hosting, you rent space on this server so your website can be live on the internet. This makes shared hosting the fastest and most affordable way to build a website because you don't need to own an entire server to run your website. In addition to this, most shared hosting providers will take care of all of the server maintenance. So if there are any technical issues with your website, they'll help you to fix this. This is something that we provide here at Verpix with our shared hosting plans. Plus, you don't need to be a web development whiz kid because most shared hosting platforms use user-friendly tools that allow you to get your website up and running right away. For example, here at Verpix, we allow you to create websites using WordPress, the world's number one website management tool using our shared hosting plans. How many visitors can my website receive with shared hosting? With shared hosting, many websites will be connected to the same server, hence the term shared as you are sharing space, which means there will be a limit on the amount of visitors or traffic that your website can receive. Thankfully, with most shared hosting plans, you can still receive up to 100,000 visitors per month to your website. So if you're just starting out, this should more than suffice. Is shared hosting secure? All web hosts are required to have some security solutions in place at the server level. For example, here at Verpex, we run daily backups on all of the websites on our hosting plans. However, security problems such as Moreware generally arise when people don't keep the software on their websites up to date. So for example, if you're running a WordPress website and you don't keep the software up to date, then you could run into some security problems. So as long as you keep this software up to date and think about installing a third party plugin for that extra layer of protection, generally you shouldn't run into any security problems even on shared hosting plans. Is shared hosting good for e-commerce? Yes, shared hosting is totally fine when you're just starting out with your e-commerce store. As I previously mentioned, as long as you keep your site secure with regular updates and plugins, then you can even start with an e-commerce store using shared hosting. And if your e-commerce store blows up and starts to get loads of visitors, you can always upgrade your hosting plan accordingly, something that we make super easy to do here at Verpex. Is there anything else I should know about shared hosting before I build my website? Just a few last things to mention when purchasing a shared hosting plan for your business's website. Firstly, make sure you can create a custom email address with your domain because this is going to make your business look 100 times more professional in comparison to using a Gmail or Outlook email account. Secondly, make sure that the shared hosting provider offers free SSL certificates because this will allow you to have the little padlock in the URL for your business's website, which is crucial for building trust with your visitors. And thankfully, we offer both of these on our shared hosting plans here at Verpex. So I'll leave links in the description for you to check out our shared hosting plans. If you have enjoyed the video, check out the two videos on screen now for more information about building websites using WordPress. I think you'll love them. And make sure to subscribe to the channel for more WordPress and website related content. This has been Elliot with Verpex and I'll see you in the next one.